Afrox launched the Smooth Flow Gas Regulator to the market in August 2013. Afrox business manager Devendra Naika highlights the research and development process undertook at Afrox's Germiston manufacturing plant. Smooth Flow bought off an idea by uh, the South African team of design engineers located at the Germiston gas equipment factory. This project started and culminated in the early parts of 2011 whereby Afrox decided how do we want to step change our business and create a product that is unique in the market and obviously gas equipment ties into our core business which is the gas industry and we then took this idea to the global um, team which is called the MI Week which is held in uh, Germany. At that forum we presented an idea that Afrox is looking at a development of a new gas equipment regulator and we showed them a prototype and some concepts to which the international team then vouched and supported, provided support for us as Afrox to go ahead and gave us a mandate that within a year from that date, by 2012, 2020, uh, 2012, if we could have a working prototype available for them. Um, Afrox then took up that challenge. We then had global interaction and workshops with the global customers in various geographies like Australia, the United Kingdom, Canada, Sweden. Um, we collated all of that information from all the global product managers and we then use that as an input into the design specification of this unique regulator which then started and we had from 2011 through to 2012 June we had produced a working prototype which culminated in the product that is known today as smooth flow. The safety valve is unique in the sense that previously generation of safety valves they were all external meant that an operator could tamper with it in conditions where there's excessive uh, cold temperatures the safety valve being sitting on the outside of the product would actually freeze over due to um, the moisture content available in this unique design the, in cap, with the regulator being encapsulated in the cladding the safety valve sits inside on the piston technology so therefore there's very little or no chance of the device actually failing due to operator abuse and we guarantee that it will work at any given time. This product is unique is that it, it was developed and tested in South Africa first to ensure that it meets the ISO 2503 standard but because the product is also being sold into the Australian market we also had to achieve the ISO the AS4 to 6 7 standard which is the requirement for the Australian market. To enable us to do this we had to test the product independently at Afrox. We then had TUV come through and certify the product that it meets those two international standards to enable us to get the final certification, this product had to then go through to Aprogas, which is situated in Belgium. They had a certification body to do the adiabatic testing. The adiabatic testing means you have to uh, physically create an ignition source and the regulator should withstand that ignition and not catastrophically fail. We achieved the standard adiabatic test as well as the promoted ignition test, which meets the standard of AS4267 for Australia. And the overwhelming result was this regulator conformed to all of those due to its unique design as well as unique safety features that we built into it. So we are fully accredited for ISO 2503 and AS4267 via TUV as well as APROGAS. This product was designed and culminated out of a global effort, so therefore it has opened up an international market for us to supply. So currently the product has launched in South Africa in July 2013 and as of uh, August 2014 the product has launched in Australia, it's launched in Sweden, it will launch in November in Canada and it will launch in the UK in November of 2014. So it's become a truly global product. It gives us the potential to grow this business from being a zero volume business for the smooth flow regulator up to 60,000 units within the space of the next three years. So it's a unique opportunity, it gives us a global footprint as well. Devengen also gives us insight into how the product has been performing since its launch in 2013. With the product being for sale in the South African market for the last 12 months, we've had excellent customer feedback. Uh, to date, we've sold over 2,000 units in the market collectively. Um, we currently engage with major customers such as Harmony Gold, who have now accepted the product. They've done all the technical uh, specification approvals on the product, and we're now given the approval to now add it to their procurement list of items. Globally, like I said to you, we've launched the product and it's had significant uptake, especially in the Australian market, and we've had good customer interaction and feedback thus far on the product. So, so far, brilliant, the product lives up to its name and to its standard, and we're achieving good global sales as well as local sales for it. For Crema Media, I'm Dylan Slater, Afrox Headquarters, Johannesburg.